Military vehicles rumbled through the outskirts of Donetsk early on Tuesday, just hours after Russian President Vladimir Putin recognized the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic and the Luhansk People's Republic as independent statelets. A few hours after that, Russia's parliament also ratified the new treaties with the two separatist regions. A step that, in theory, could pave the way to Moscow building military bases there. Meanwhile, some residents in Donetsk hope the move will lead to peace. It is very important for all of us that peace will finally come to our republic and to Luhansk. We just want peace and calm. For us, it is very important. We want to live as one big family together with Russia. I fought a lot for this land and people to become independent, for this land to be recognized and for people to live in freedom with the right to say their word, to make their choice and to get what the Republic has been going to for all these years. Western countries have been warning for weeks that Moscow may be preparing for a possible all-out mass invasion to conquer its neighbour. Russia has long denied this, and Putin's moves so far have stopped short of such a scenario. Even so, Moscow's recognition of Donetsk and Luhansk is seen by Western powers as an illegal step that could extinguish peace negotiations. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky said Kyiv is considering breaking diplomatic relations with Russia as a result. His defense minister, Alexei Reznikov, also condemned the move. They did the uh lot on step. They ruined our territorial uh, dignity, our sovereignty. Carnegie Europe analyst Judy Dempsey said Russia's moves so far in the Donbass region are a repetition of the pattern it used to seize Crimea in 2014. The point is, um, you can't mince words when it comes to troops crossing, um, crossing into an independent sovereign country, and this is a, a kind of second invasion. Using peacekeepers as a, as a misnomer word for this is, is hardly disguising the fact that this is Russia de facto taking over this part of Ukraine. Dempsey says the Ukrainian government may be trying to avoid a direct confrontation with Russia, but she warns that the risk of violence simply cannot be ruled out.